welcome to my kitchen. My name is Sherry and today I'm super excited because I got my first request from Heather at Whooperwill Creations. And she, if you haven't checked her out, you have to because she has a lot of really crafty stuff. I really enjoy her videos. Anyway, she requested Applebee's spinach artichoke dip. So if I'm being honest, I've actually never had it. We have an Applebee's about 50 miles from here and we've been there a couple times, but it's been years ago. And now we have so many wonderful local eateries that we hardly ever eat at a chain. But I have heard from other people that they really do have some good spinach artichoke dip. So I had to cheat and look up a couple of recipes and basically they were all just a blend of different cheeses mixed together with spinach, artichokes, and some Alfredo sauce, which I thought was very interesting. So I did make some Alfredo sauce. Uh, I did that on a different video. So I'm going to put a link to that right here. So be sure and check that out. Now, if you don't have the homemade Alfredo sauce, of course you can use a jar. So just get yourself a 16 ounce jar of roasted garlic. Did I say tomato sauce? I, I hope I didn't. It's Alfredo sauce. <laughs> Anyway, the first thing that you're going to need is a 10 ounce package of frozen chopped spinach. Now, I wanted to show it to you in the package because I had never actually seen this until I started making dips with spinach, I don't think. I think the only thing I had ever really used was fresh spinach. So this comes in a little box. You get it in the freezer section just right next to your other vegetables. But it's kind of all packed together like this. So what I do is go ahead and take it out of the box. It's going to be in a big frozen square and I place it on a platter and we're going to pop it in the microwave and thaw it out. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then I'll show you what to do from there. Okay, so I just took the spinach out of the microwave. As you can see, it is defrosted. Be careful because it can get really, really hot in there. So the next thing we need to do now that it's thawed out is drain it. So what I like to do is just use a kitchen towel. Now this is going to look really dirty, but it's not. <laughs> it looks this way because this is all I use this towel for, is to drain and squeeze out the liquid of different items. So once I have it in here, I'm just going to take this. Like I said, be careful. It's going to be kind of hot. Maybe hotter than what I expected. <laughs> some of it's cold and some of it's hot. All right, so I'm just squeezing the juice out. I don't know if it's juice. I'm squeezing the liquid out. Spinach juice. <laughs> I guess it's probably healthy for you, huh? Put that in a smoothie. Okay, so the other thing I have here is an eight ounce block of cream cheese that I've already softened in the microwave. And I'm just gonna add my spinach to it. I'm gonna toss this towel aside. Now I also have two cans of artichokes here and these need to be drained as well. However, um, these are a little bit easier. They don't hold on to the liquid like the spinach does. So we're just gonna go ahead and open these up. And you wanna buy the ones that are quartered and not whole. Okay, and then to drain these, I've got a nifty little Pampered Chef tool. This is our can strainer. It just goes right over the top, and you just drain it right into the sink. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and toss those in. Drain the other one. These you really have to give a shake because they're not like corn. They get stuck in between all the little pieces there. All right. So I'm going to take this and we're going to stir this all together. And you know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking these need to be... They're not as quartered as small as I thought they were. These are kind of large. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my new food processor and we're going to grind this up a little bit and make this a lot smoother. Okay, I'm not sure what I was thinking, but I didn't need my big food processor. <laughs> I think I'm just excited to use it because I just got it. Anyway, all I need is my little mini food processor here. It's a manual food processor from Pampered Chef. It's just three pieces. You just hold the top down and it spins the blade and that's all there is to it. So I went ahead and did some of it, and then I saved some of it so y'all could see just what a good job that this thing does. All right, so we're going to go ahead and add the rest of this in. So this is the blade that sits down in there. All right. 
Hope I have a big enough bowl for all this. All right. So, so far we have two cans of Oda, art, Oda Chark. <laughs> Artichoke hearts, a box of spinach, and an eight ounce block of cream cheese. So the next thing we're gonna add is the Alfredo sauce that I made. Now again, if you don't have the homemade Alfredo sauce, just get yourself a 16 ounce jar of roasted, the roasted garlic Alfredo sauce. So we're just gonna fold this in. I can tell you it smells fabulous already. Yeah, I actually have made this dip, but it's been a long time. But you know what I did make recently? I made a spinach artichoke mac and cheese that was delicious and i don't remember having to cut up the artichokes but i guess i did and i just don't remember all right so the next thing that goes in actually let's add our garlic first because yeah, let me grab this back out of this thing we'll rinse that off real quick it just had a little cheese on it i normally would use fresh garlic however I had a little bit of minced garlic, so you can use either. I had a little bit left in this jar that I needed to use up. So we're gonna stir that in. And then we're gonna add our cheeses. So one and a half cups of mozzarella, shredded. And I prefer to shred my own. I think it just has a better flavor whatever they put on the cheese that keeps it from sticking I think kind of takes away from the flavor all right so the last cheese that we're going to add in is now it called for parmesan reggiano but I could not find that so I'm just doing the parmesan so it may not taste exactly like it but I'm pretty confident this is going to taste pretty good especially since I made my own alfredo sauce so a cup and a half of this which is just a little over two cups in here so we need about half the container that should be about right i might put a little extra in there all right so now we're going to stir this together i probably did need a bigger bowl but we'll make it work <laughs> i don't want to dirty another one now mm, this is going to be really cheesy i wish i had some pita bread So the interesting thing, like I said, is that it uses, al it, used, <laughs> it uses Alfredo sauce and it doesn't have any mayonnaise in it. So this is great for like Super Bowl, potlucks. Speaking of Super Bowl, if you're not following me on Pinterest, you need to. I've got all kinds of crazy boards on there. We've got the Super Bowl, but all my, <laughs> all my boards are really cute names like, oh, I don't know, Easter. I just created an Easter board and it's called Every Bunny. Every Bunny was Kung Fu Fighting. <laughs> Which I thought was really, really cute. So yeah, it's Sherry the Chef on there as well. And on Instagram. I've got some really good food photography on Instagram. Okay, so I'm going to use my Pampered Chef Baker here. The nice thing about the stoneware too is it goes in the oven as well as the microwave. So if we don't eat all this today, we can always heat it up later. So I just think this is a fabulous appetizer for, you know, under 30 minutes. I'm just going to smooth this out. And then we're going to pop this in the oven for about, <laughs> let me smooth out, for about 20 minutes. I might even take some of this Parmesan and just top it off on the top so that it gets like kind of like a, oh, you know, like when pizza gets like a really nice bubbly crust on top. I always like the look of that. All right. So in the oven she goes, and I don't know if I told you at what temperature. I know it's 30 minutes. I think it's 350. Anyway, I'm going to pop this in the oven, and I'll see you in a few. Okay, here is our finished product, and I cannot tell you how good it smells. The garlic and the cheese. So I just had a couple of little, I wish I had some pita bread, but I don't. So I just have a little, hopefully I don't burn my mouth, a little chip here. You see all that straininess? <laughs> it's gooey and creamy and cheesy. That is fabulous. So 
I'm not 100% sure that it tastes like Applebee's, but give it a try. Let me know what you think. And don't forget, if you have a request of your own, put it in the comments below. Let me know, and I will do my best. Also, don't forget to subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And don't forget to hit the bell so you get notifications the next time I have a video. So, And I've been doing them every day. So check them out, and I will see you next time. Bye.